Well, welcome back for yet another episode of Rough Restos. So we're back on the Mark One Golf project again. Um, if you watched the last episode, we sort of looked underneath the car, had a play in the engine bay, and worked out really mechanically what's wrong, uh, what might need doing. So we're going to crack on some of that, really. Uh, so let's see what we've got to do then. So we've now got the hydraulic lifters. Uh, we've got some service bits. Um, Typically, I am waiting on still a ton of parts, funny enough, all to be delivered by my Hermes um, for the last week. So, they ain't coming anytime soon, they're probably in a hedge somewhere. Uh, but luckily enough, I've got some oil on the shelf, so not a problem. Um, we got a upgraded rubber bottom end gasket, some gasket. Uh, probably a cork on it now, we'll find out, but we got the VW rubber one. We got the auxiliary belt, not really the X, we've still got the alternator to look into. Uh, rocket cover gasket, time belt kit. Um, some spark plugs, although I didn't realise they're multi electrode, it's just whatever the um, number is recommended. So we'll see. Put some spark plugs, new sump plug, um, and a few bits like that, really. So we've got to change the lifters, get them sorted. We're going to change the sump gasket because I know it's leaking, and we're going to just have a quick look at some bearings at the bottom to make sure there's no serious issues with it. Um, whether I do that before bothering to do the cam belt, that might. That would be a smart idea to check the engine health before we do the cam belt and you know get it all ready to go. Uh, but then, yeah, the service still waiting on the fuel filter. Typically, my Hermes again. Um, yeah, so we've got a good bit to crack on with for now. And then once the engine's all sorted, I can actually maybe look at um, cleaning this thing up because it's an absolute mess. And yeah, I wouldn't mind getting a few bit sorted. I might have a look at the alternator and see if there's a changeable bearing or. We can get another one, it's not a problem at all, but it's just if that saves like 70 quid, then not a bad shout. But I'll look into that anyway, we'll see. Um, but for now, we need to do the time belt, which is what's it like condition wise? It's definitely old ish, but he's not. He's been caught on something at some point. But I wouldn't say it's, it's not like it's past it at all. It's merely just a bit old. So, but out of precaution, obviously that's going to change. The auxiliary belt is actually, that's perished, that's knackered. Um, yeah, our best we can, best get this fixed, I guess. Let's crack on. So before we um, take the sump off, we'll best drop the oil. I've semi-warmed it up, but not by much. So, let's see how thick this is and horrible. Nope. That's not too clean. But the sub plug's not older. I think this will drain that and get the sub removed. So I've just found a bit of metal on the oil. Um, I'll show you that in a second. Not sure I'd be concerned about it yet, so I think we're going to check a um, check the bottom end bearings and just see what condition like. Um, if the condition is bad, then we know we've got issues with the engine, which is not good. Um, if they're good, we'll see if any are loose or any reason one could be dropping any metal. Because um, yeah, there's a good chance. That sump might never have been off. Um, in fact, it's got a rubber gasket, 85. It, it might have been off at least once, but there's a chance it might not have been off. Um, in which case, it could never been, might never have been cleaned out. And it could just be, I don't know, 100 and whatever, how many thousand miles this thing is worth of them. Um, built up debris. Just sitting in the bottom of the sump, but. So there's, oh. Just drop it. Well, typically, I found more things wrong, of course. So you might have seen them, I put the clips and say the other bit of oohs and ahs, so I took the bear bearings down. Um, now, the mains, I've checked two of them, they seem absolutely spot on. There's wear on them, but nothing, at hardly anywhere. You know, most coatings still on there, they're good. Big ends, not so good. Now, the crank's decent, which is good. Two of the big ends are at the stage where if they'd done another 
five thousand miles, they would have started damaging the crank. I think um, they were getting pretty heavily worn. Um, little deposits sort of wedged into the bearing material. You know, they were mostly smooth to touch, but heavily worn. I'll put some pictures in like now. Um, so it's obviously going to not be stupid to bolt it back together with the knackered big ends because they are going to go at some point. They're going to destroy the crank, and then it's going to be you know engine really financially um, not worth rebuilding when they're so common and cheap still. Uh, so I think I'll speak to the owner and we're going to have to replace them. So that now delays things again because I can't finish it. So I think we'll just jump on and do the, um, oh, ideal, great. I'll jump on and do the cam belt and such now. Whilst well, I speak to him and we order more parts. Ugh, product cars, eh? Well, that's them to removed. Wasn't too happy when I saw them. Because they hold on by these, um, Allen cap head bolts and they aren't very hex anymore they've been used a few times before so when they go back on they're not going back on the original bolts because that's going to screw someone in the future but they're off so the rest of the timing covers off uh something's just back on to stop the oil dripping everywhere for now uh oh dear there we go nothing oil lick from the um seal for the jack shaft <laughs> oh why? Why? Um, but up there, I'm not sure what you can see. Obviously, you've got timeout here. We've got the timeout tensioner up there. So, and obviously, water pump here. So, we'll be replacing the water pump. Um, doesn't need to be replaced at the same time as the cam belt here, but it's just easier. And obviously, it's just good, good routine maintenance. So, we need to get uh, engine at TDC now. And then we can whip the belt off and whip the new belt. Ah, no. We'll probably do the get it to TDC. Do the lifters and then put the belt back on so let's crack on that well a little update time um put it down we've lined up all the timer marks so for the crank pulley the jack shaft and the one on the cylinder head here so we've got it engines lined up time wise and we put some extra marks on it just to be safe yes now we can pop the cam out and actually get to these lifters and see what's going on there um, that shouldn't be too bad a job, but now once the cam belt comes off, it's then going to be off and yeah, engine not touchable until we've got the rest of the parts to reassemble and change the stupid seal and all that stuff down there. Joys! <laughs> Here's the cam. Sometimes camshaft with wear, but only age related, not excessive. So that's first ideal. Right, now he's left us. Will they come out or will they be suctioned in by oil? Probably suctioned in by oil. No? There you go. Oh, I can imagine they're pretty gummed up. They've got a bit of shit in them. Right, well, I'll best get my new ones prepared a minute and get them ready to go. Alright, so that's the last lifter in now. Um, took a bit of oil in and around them, so it should be good. Cams can pop back in now, I guess, got it? Might as well, never let it sit around. Uh... You can tell this engine hasn't really been. Um... Well, it's not been not loved, but it's it probably could have had better servicing, I think. One way of putting it. Right, so our time mark is there.
All right, so I see you can pop back in. I'm going to put a bit of oil just over the cam now because I wiped it off to keep everything safe. Okay. I've already put some onto your other lip a minute ago. And I think that's as far as we get for now, really. Um, no point me putting the cam belt back on because I've still got to do the jack shaft um, seal. Could do the water pump, but yeah, I'll do it once I've done the cam belt, really. So I best go off and order everything else we need to do to finish the job off, which is a pain. We still wait on the exhaust as well, so maybe, I don't know, this might be the end of one video or it might actually be the um, midway through the video. I don't know. I've lost track of where I am now. It's. A long one. Well, long weekend, not a long job. But so, in which case, um, if I do decide to end the video here, and um, you happen to have enjoyed the video, I don't know why it's not actually that interesting. It's been mostly um, a video of failures and more parts needed. But anyway, if you do happen to have enjoyed it, then why not give the video a like, drop a comment on what you think, and subscribe for more. And hopefully, I'll see you again next time. Cheers.